Hi, Nancy. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing very well. Uh, you, um, you know, my, this is a this is a podcast. I can see you. My audience cannot, uh, and I can tell right away this is going to be an interesting. <laughs> interview. You seem like a fascinating person to me. You're very attractive, very exotic. You have, um, man, there's a lot going on right now. You seem, I'm getting a goth vibe from you. Is that fair? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's, let's describe your goth look a little bit. Are you into the goth world? Is that your, is that your thing? Yes, I guess you can say that. <laughs> well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm 30 years old. I live in Chicago. I was born and raised here. I love to travel. I love going to haunted houses and so ah, much. Ah, here we go. <laughs> here we, I love how he was like, I'm, cause I, I'm looking at you and you're all dressed in black and your hair is jet black. And as I said, you're a, a very attractive person, but I'm getting this strong, aren't you getting sort of a strong Halloween vibe almost? Yes. And then, uh, you... I, I asked you and you're like, well, I'm 30 and this and that, and it's all very normal. And I love haunted houses. And I'm like, okay, that's telling me a lot right there. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna say, I I know we don't describe what happens in your room, but there are two of the creepiest masks I've ever seen right behind you. With yeah, hanging on the wall are monkey two. Monkey and that clown. Yeah, a monkey mask and a clown mask, and they look like they're from the 1930s or 40s <laughs> or something, and they're scary as hell. I know. They they're... really are. Are you, a, are you a murderer? Is that what you do? <laughs> well, let's see. I've never murdered anything, but I do no. select dead animals as well. Oh my, you, oh my she's, God. you're holding up right now. Now, uh, right now, let me describe for the listener, Nancy is holding up a jar that had some kind of a creature in it. What is that creature in the jar? So it's actually a cat and it is, a, oh. it's a diaphanized specimen. So it is uh, clear stained and it is dyed as well. And uh, it's a gelatinous cat skeleton and there's been a dye injected into it and the bones are all blue. Blue and a tint of pink. So I collect taxidermy. I collect wet specimens along with my husband, of course. Uh, oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> couldn't do it without him. <laughs> yeah, funny how we hear about him, but we don't see him. In fact, no one's seen him for years. <laughs> um, oh, there he is. Oh, hi, husband. Good to see you. Yeah, you as well. Okay, here's my job. My job is to keep you guys talking until the FBI can show up. <laughs> There we want to thoroughly we want to thoroughly look through your basement and um, basement. we're wondering why there are those exotic <laughs> butterflies everywhere. What, what's going on with you guys? You're both uh, you're both you seem like ghouls. You seem like otherworldly ghouls. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, tell us, uh, Nancy, what do you what do you guys do for a living? What what's your bag, man? So uh, <laughs> what we do for a living is we are actually haunted house reviewers in the Chicagoland area for the scare factor. Oh, wait, you <laughs> you review haunted houses? Yes. Okay, so it's not enough that other people can go to a haunted house and just write a Yelp review. You're the real people that say, is this haunted house worth your time or not? Pretty much, yeah. We break it down from how great, how scary, how how well the entertainment is inside, outside, customer service. We break it down for you. 